To Mary Louise Dieterle Nippert, the love of music is a legacy passed on to her by her parents, George and Elsa Dieterle. She came from a family uh, of singers. Her grandparents met in a chorus. Her father loved to sing. Liesl has a beautiful soprano voice. Liesl uh, studied uh, voice. She is a trained singer. An accomplished singer. You know, she sang in most of the halls and churches in this city. I love to hear her voice when she sings the Star Spangled Banner. That's high praise from one eminently qualified to judge, but there's more. Liesl is a fantastic musician. While music has always played an important role in Louise Nippert's life, it was not her parents' only legacy. She learned to value her German heritage and the spoken German language. It led to the study of languages. She graduated from UC with a major in French. Her knowledge of languages served her well in her music studies. Her singing career reached a high point when she was asked to perform solo with the symphony. I was there. Um, Thor Johnson was the conductor of the Cincinnati Symphony at the time. She describes the experience as absolutely the thrill of her lifetime. While Liesl Nipper derived great pleasure from her love of singing, she has many other interests. But before we go any further, let's explain her favorite term of address. Liesl is uh, German uh, for little Louise, and so that's her affectionate name that all of us love to call her by. And Liesl Nippert's name has been synonymous with the Cincinnati cultural scene for years. She is a prominent patron of many of our most important institutions. She's eclectic. She's interested in all arts. And her interest covers a wide area. And she's got an interest in children. Interested in the arts and the sciences and, and music and opera. She loves opera. She's got an interest in architecture. And the art museums, I think Liesl has probably helped all the performing arts organizations. And as a patron and benefactor, she insists her efforts be rewarded, but not with personal recognition. She insists on the highest artistic standards. She doesn't want the limelight. She wants the people who receive her help to receive that limelight as their careers develop. Well, just this once, let's shine the limelight on Louise Nippert. She has that kind of personality that is magnetic. Well, she's a leader. There's an air of regalness in her. It's a very elegant, a very great lady. A very strong willed lady who really commands your respect. Liesl's a dedicated lady. Conscientious. She's so enthusiastic and so open. Up front. Extremely intelligent. Very bright, obviously. Interested in all things. Very curious. Hard worker. Energetic. The energy of a 29-year-old. She's down to earth. Very friendly. She lights up the room. Warm and generous. Unselfish. Caring. Good friend. How do you say? Humble. At the same time, proud of the good things we have in the city. She's really devoted her life to the pursuit of an enjoyment of music. She loves music hall. She will always be at the May Festival. To me, she is the May Festival. She has very good tastes about music. She knows opera, virtually all of it. When she didn't like something, she told you. She'll give you her, her opinions all the time. Uh, and they're always noteworthy. She'd be the best critic for any newspaper in the world. By far, the greatest love of Louise Nippert's life was her beloved husband, the late Louis Gus Nippert. And they were a perfect team. They were a wonderful couple to be with. Well, they both cared very much for each other. She was a perfect complement to him and vice versa. Gus Nippert delighted Liesl when he moved to satisfy another great passion of her life. Mr. Nippert bought the Reds. Bob Housen was hired, probably one of the best general managers in baseball. It was the golden age of the Cincinnati Reds. We were able to provide for the fans of Cincinnati in that area uh, world championships. She is an absolute avid Cincinnati Reds fan. Hoot and holler in that ball game. She had gotten to know about baseball because her father took her to the game. When you go to the ball game, she's right on top of everything. She knows more than, I bet, the sports announcer. The Reds have become an extended family for her. All those players out there were her boys. And in fact, the wives were her, her girl. The World Series wins during the Reds' glory years brought excitement and satisfaction to many. But quietly and behind the scenes, both Gus and Louise Nippert have given the city of Cincinnati much, much more. Liesel has served on boards of most of our major cultural and art institutions. He's been recognized by her alma mater and has received the prestigious Post Corbett Award for lifetime achievement. With all this activity, you'd think that she would have no time for other pursuits. Not so. She has 
Green Acres Foundation. Basically, it's a farm, a farm in Indian Hill, a working farm, a yeah, classroom out of doors, the goals of which include making all young and old aware of the environment. Many thousands of school children come to Green Acres every year to see the farm. She loves the, she loves the earth. She loves the flowers. She rolls up her sleeves, she puts on her work pants, and she's out in the yard with all the helpers. She likes to be in the kitchen. The, the kitchen table is sort of a, a gathering place. You haven't lived until you've sat around Lisa's kitchen table. She conducts business around her table. Her personality shines in her kitchen. Green Acres Farm is not the only educational facility that has benefited from Louise Nippert's affection and generosity. She's made a big impact on UC. She's been an important figure in the development of CCM for many years. At CCM, Louise Nippert has funded the Thomas J. Kelly Chair for the Dean, named for a close friend and teacher. She has provided the funds for two very important scholarships which are named for her parents and she has recently been involved in the renovation of a historic campus building. This is going to be called the Dieterle Building, a tribute to her family and it's for uh, vocal arts. Her interest in faculty, staff and students goes well beyond in personal financial support. For many students after they have left the college keep in touch with Mrs. Nippert. And CCM students aren't the only beneficiaries of Liesel's generosity. She has supported performers and artists in countless ways, financially and with personal services that bolster their careers. She has an international reputation that fosters goodwill for herself and also for the city of Cincinnati. She was outstanding in her drive and her desire to do it right and to provide for uh, the people of that great city. She really cares about uh, the city. People don't understand exactly how much she and Gus before her and they together have done. It's impossible for anyone to know except for Liesl. And I don't think she'll tell you. She has been a great leader. She is such a lady. She's the queen of Cincinnati, the queen of the Queen City. Ladies and gentlemen, the queen of the Queen City and a great living Cincinnatian, Louise Dieterle Liesl Nippert.